Hello everyone. Today on my channel, we got a very special guest. You may best know him for his tenure in the UFC. Please give a warm welcome for the Pitbull himself, Tiago Alves. What's up guys? <laughs> Thanks for having me, bud. I'm glad you could be here. It was such an honor and privilege being able to train with you all those months ago back in Tracy, California. Anyways, I'd like to hear some cool stuff about your time in the UFC. So many memories, man. Uh, UFC definitely helped shape my career. I remember the, like, the biggest victories that I had leading up to uh, UFC 100 versus uh, George St. Pierre. That was a crazy ride also. Overall, all my experience that I had, they're all positive. Of course, I didn't get everything that I wanted, but I got everything that I needed. So uh, I can only be thankful for that. Every time I heard that you were going to fight, I could not wait to see you fight. You always brought it, win, lose, or draw. That's what I appreciate about you. I appreciate that, man. And I always come to fight. Uh, that's that's the way I was trained to to compete. You don't train to win a fight for 15 minutes. You train to finish a fight. If the fight lasts 15, 25 minutes, you know, props to your opponent. He was able to handle you. But I always train to finish fights. So that's why I'm always looking for that finish no matter how. Oh, absolutely. Another reason why I was so looking forward to speaking with you is because when I posted the picture that we took together back in Tracy, and when your wife commented on my post about your son being on the autism spectrum, that really ex made me excited for sure. Yeah, my son, he's five years old now. Uh, he's going to go to kindergarten next year. He's perfect just the way he is. And he's been progressing a lot. We changed a lot on his diet and got him all the therapy that he needs. He's seen huge improvement with his speech and he's doing phenomenal. We want to make sure that he can do anything that he put uh, his mind into it with hard work and dedication, anything it's possible. I do believe that everything does indeed happen for a reason and that you and I, we were destined to meet especially when I found out about your son being diagnosed. That just really made me skyrocket right there. I'm glad to hear, man. It's always good to know more about the spectrum. You know, you're, you're very successful in the spectrum, you know, so that gives me a lot of hope. Thanks a lot, man. Anyway, how much of a knowledge did you have on autism prior to your son's diagnosis? Not much at all. You know, that's uh, the, the, the main thing. You have no option but to learn. It's usually your son or somebody from your close family that is diagnosed in the spectrum. And then you have to learn a little bit more. I know I had a cousin growing up that now that I know more about autism, he was on the spectrum for sure. But he never got diagnosed. But he was always, uh, 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 you know, different in a special way. Uh, he would do things on his own way. You know, today he's very successful. Probably never got diagnosed. I know that now, but, you know, has a phenomenal job, a phenomenal family, a phenomenal career. It's amazing to learn about how, how uh, different people, you know, excel on the spectrum. Yeah, martial arts in general has just really helped me overcome a lot of adversity in my life. And I honestly wouldn't be who I am without martial arts. And you especially, you're a huge inspiration in my life. I've always looked up to you for as long as I can remember. Now, I appreciate that, man. It's, uh, it's always nice to hear that the work that we're doing, you know, with passion, you know, of course, if I am able to help someone, you know, that's an extra gift. But I'm just trying to uh, live my life as honest as possible and try to send a good message out there, you know. And then when you get to uh, help someone else along the way, that's just an extra bonus. Exactly. And I feel my premise in life is to help people understand autism and help shatter stereotypes. Absolutely, man. You're a great example for that. There you guys have it. This has been my one-on-one. -on -one with the pit bull himself, Tiago Alves. Thanks again for stopping by and let's continue to help make the world a better place.